So good, good to be on these fucking mics, dude. I was away, dude, and I missed the rush that I got. Yeah, I think that it, it's still... Man, I've been... Can I tell you... Where did you go? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're I've like, been, I've been away. <laughs> I've been away from this mic. From oh, okay. Yeah, 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 you went home, and then you came... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, like, every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I have been... I'm just... So I'm so amped to do everything. <laughs> Why is that? The creatine is flowing, dude. Ooh, creatine, it's, bitch. It, it is. Th- this is. I am definitely. I'm in like a dune. I'm pretty sure that I'm like uh, opening all my chakras with this creatine. Hmm. I can't co-sign this chakra nonsense, but you it gotta, does seem good to throw whatever chemicals in you and become strong. Yeah. What is creatine exactly? Uh, your we already talked about this on the podcast. Your body produces it naturally. Uh, it helps your muscles heal. A DMT, got it? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, don't go crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, but apparently, but now I'm looking. I'm like on the back. They're already hooking me because the back of the creatine bottle. It's like for best results, also take like this giant bottle of whey protein and this like. There's one that's just called like Muscle Explode. Like the <laughs> I'm just like. I guess I gotta get all these bot like. Uh, well, it looks like I need to lift weights until I die. <laughs> I'm gonna replace my entire diet with GNC powders. <laughs> you make like some some fucking weird roided out uh, soylent. There's no ro- there's no roids, dude. I'm all natural. Mm-hmm. We gotta get you some roids. The first thing I Googled, we gotta get gear, dude. Well, it wasn't the first. It was after I bought the creatine. Like two days, I I I like in a panic. I was googling, does creatine do anything to your dick? <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't, thank God. It doesn't. But it doesn't. Hmm. As, if anything, positive or negative. My bird has never been more okay. It's great. It's more. Yeah, my bird's never been extremely <laughs> down the middle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. Is you, you want a nice average? Pe- nothing exceptional going on. My problem is that my dick is too memorable. Oh no, mm-hmm. that's how I'm framing for it. The, not for great reasons. No, no. You know, you just you you, you want to be like a solid. You know, it's like these. Uh, it's like the knobs on this uh, board. You uh-huh. want them right in the middle. Too much and ah, you know, it gets, gets what do you, loud. Wait, what and, do you uh, mean too scary? much? What, well, oh, the knobs. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, should I turn? Should I start turning? No, the no, knobs? no, no, no. I just mean. I would. Are you sure that that's the equivalent for like when a when a dick is too much that it's? Well, I'm. Well, I'm not talking about size here. Okay. I'm talking about character, texture, um, scent, all kinds of different variables that can go well off the path. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, yeah. How, think of all of the different ways that your dick can fail you. Um, I mean, I know that there's the list is longer for like you and Isaac, but I guess <laughs> you you have opened my eyes to the possibilities like you're literally like you guys are like the ghosts of like cr- alternate Christmas where mm-hmm. I'm just like it could have been a lot yeah, worse, yeah. dude. My dick is like Isaac's car, where like you were talking about it, and, <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, like there's no windshield fluid. You're like, I didn't even notice that. And then you have like a whole fucking <laughs> another whole list, another of, thing. <laughs> whole other list of problems. <laughs> Isaac's car is. Uh, I drove. I, I dropped Isaac off at the airport. I drove his car back today, and um, that boy is driving around with brakes that don't work. <laughs> I'm. It's I'm so impressive. Oh, it's so scary, dude. I made it. I, like. The whole it was terrifying. Driving that car at night is terrifying. Oh, it's awful. The windshield, like the windshield, doesn't work. <laughs> you, can, you can't see out of it's, it. It's like full of cracks and dust. Yeah. Oh, the, the windshield. Like, there's nothing scarier than like from the shaking of like his stripped brakes. You hear like as the car is like shaking to a halt, it's vibrating so much that the crack is getting worse. Like as you're sitting in traffic. <laughs> Yeah, you're just idling, and all the windows are slowly spiderwebbing yeah, around you. Like, At some point, it's just going to shatter, and your face is going to be all cut up. I'm like, oh, fuck, God damn it, <laughs> Isaac. Yeah, during, like, the two hours where you have his car. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'll tell you what, I didn't, I didn't miss out. I don't, I like not having a car. Getting back in this car, like, sure, I tested my freedom a little bit. I went mm-hmm. out in the open road. I was like, let's visit some parts of LA I haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. I don't really miss having a car. That makes sense. I mean, in Philly, I really liked not having a car. It was very simple. Made everything good. You get to go on a lot of nice walks. I love walking. Be nice dude. and trim. Yeah. I uh, got to ride a bike. Uh, get, almost get hit by cars every day. I don't know if I'm going to do the bike thing. 
Maybe I should get a bike. I don't think the bike thing's a good idea here. It you can, seems really dangerous. Every time I see somebody, like, because I see a lot of a lot of people, like, bike and ride the bus, but, like, every time I see somebody just, like, walk up to a bus and just, like, put their bike on the front, I'm like, oh, the confidence. That must <laughs> just, like, I can't imagine mm-hmm. doing, I don't know why. I, I mean, I even hate it thing. when, like, a guy in a wheelchair, like, the bus takes an extra 15 seconds because they got to lower the ramp. Yeah. Even, I'm like, ah, fuck, I'm late for it's work. Like, you're Come not on. supposed to leave your house, dude. <laughs> in my opinion, your job should come to you. Yeah. Wherever you work, say it's um, I don't know, an insurance office, Wendy's, whatever you do, Wall Street, it should all come to you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you don't you literally just don't get to be a part of the world. Oh, well that's there's an no safety take. there's not a safety net for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is staunchly anti um Americans with Disabilities Act. No, 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 no. I'm not oh, was there an act about them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Well, do? people are getting mad now. Um, like they're getting mad that podcasts don't release like transcripts and shit. Like I, I think it's pretty much just like what I think it's just are like, people did are people getting mad or did someone get mad? Because I have to be pr- careful with this. Yeah, you're right. I think it was people, but it was like specifically Chapo fans. So that makes oh, sense. Oh, all right. Okay, I mm-hmm. guess I could see that. I, I try to be careful with that because, like, my father—I was talking to my dad on the phone. I love my dad. He's like, he's like, well, Nick, did you see that people are getting mad about baby? It's cold outside. I'm like. I think someone got mad about Baby. I mm-hmm. think that most people do not give a shit. I mean, it's kind of been a joke. Like, I remember even when I was a kid, it was kind of like, ah, oh, isn't it kind of weird that that song's about rape? Like, yeah. Everyone kind of knew that, you know? Yeah, yeah. We've always known that since the 60s or whenever it was written. Yeah. That's the bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a great bit. Yeah. Uh, okay. I can solve this. Whoever's mad about it, I'm going to talk to them, and I'm going to explain to them what the bit is. Right. They're going to be like, I'm mad that this I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's sexual assault. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, but you know, but as in, it's good. <laughs> that's, Not that it's good. It's just no, they don't understand. That, that's they're confused. They're listening to the song and they're confused <laughs> about what it means. So they're mad. They're like, and oh, they're in- <laughs> that guy's not listening to what she's saying. It's like, no, no, <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. yeah. All right, I get the bit. <laughs> it's a funny bit. That's a great bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Coward hour, baby. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> you're on your high horse, dude. You, uh, you know what? You shouldn't take any creatine. I shouldn't take <laughs> any creatine. Once creatine starts, I, I'm afraid of like because mm-hmm. you're you you got your your brain is good. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm very happy, very in a good mood. The minute we start pumping you full of supplements, it might, I just you're just gonna like you're not even gonna use the front door. You're just gonna walk through the wall one day. Just, there's just gonna be like a Brendan shaped hole in the wall. That would be good. And I you're think. gonna be like who me? It would be f- really funny if I'm just like a square. Yeah, you would be so funny, dude. If you get ripped, I get fucking jacked. If you just look like Strong Mad from fucking Homestar Runner, <laughs> fuck that yeah. is what you'll look like. Yeah, tiny Strong Mad. Tiny. I think he. Oh no, he. But was Strong great. Bad's height. That's a great. I mean, that's a great original character, deviant art, mm-hmm. fusion. Hunt yeah. Type deal. Um, I'm gonna start a Facebook page where I just post my Homestar Runner OCs. Oh man, <laughs> that would be good. I'm thinking about that. Mm-hmm. I love that. It'd be good. That'd be like the most autistic pursuit you could possibly make up. Just oh, because yeah, I like, guess like do something that alienates the Sonic people. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, it's such an old hack bit. Have you ever Googled your name, the Hedgehog? Like, I, ha- I have your name plus the Hedgehog. I bet it. I, I bet it's sexual. Is it? No, it's just like it just sucks. It's just like <laughs> it just sucks. It's just like a purple hedgehog with like a backwards baseball ca- or something. Mm-hmm. Whatever your yeah. name, that Hedgehog is. I can't believe. Man, this is a memory where, like, we've talked too many times about, like, what you used to be able to do on Facebook. But I just remembered for, like, a long time, like, maybe a whole year, my cover photo on Facebook was this photo I found someone made where it was, uh, it was, like, the tow- it was <laughs> the towers falling down. Mm-hmm. And then it was, like, Sonic and Tails and Knuckles all with, like, their hats over their heads. And then it said, like, never forget. Oh my God! Wait, you can't do that anymore. I bet you could still do that. Uh, if I posted that today, people would be kind of mad. I think. I think that nine eleven has looped back. Or I think that everyone's okay with nine eleven. Oh, is like, that? I think so. Is that safe space appropriate comedy now? I mean, I feel like all alt comedy is like nine eleven jokes. Yeah, that like makes sense. I feel like because I guess uh, I don't want to start speculating. Look, nine eleven okay. is very alt. It's crazy. It is. It is like nine eleven is alt hack. I got <laughs> man. I got so into watching like nine eleven. I remember there was one video that they shared on the hot ninety, hot ninety seven. It's one of the websites or Kiss FM. That one of the websites out here. They like 
weirdly, this like uh, radio website shared this cell phone footage that a girl took uh, of the towers collapsing, like w- the day that it happened, <laughs> and like it ju- like it's so weird because at first, like the girls are laughing. Like it's a, like I guess that's just a response you have like it's a mm-hmm. shock, but then their laughs turn to shrieks, and I would just like watch that video a lot. It was really interesting to me. Huh? That is a very fascinating video. Maybe I shouldn't be ta- <laughs> talking about all that, but it, it was a, I would just go down. It just it's it's frustrating. <laughs> Here's what it was. You're like, huh? Humans emotions. No, 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 no. They no. blend from one to the other. No, it was just. It was just. Here's what it really was. I thought that I had seen all the angles of 9/11, and this was a new. This was new coverage. This was new coverage of 9/11. It's like, that oh, that's uh, you know, cutting room floor 9/11. Oh yeah. You didn't show me all the dailies. <laughs> it's. It does suck. Like it makes me very frustrated that we'll never see 9/11 in HD. That's my bit, dude. Oh, is this your bit? Yeah, that's my bit. Oh, no. My bit is like, uh, you ever think about how 9-11 was so long ago, it's not even in HD? Oh, no. Like, oh, well, it's like a VHS tape. And then the, the, the rest of it, I talk about, like, what if we had Snapchat on 9-11? Eric Glazer has this bit, too. Really? Yeah, Eric, well, Eric Glazer has a bit about um, if, if 9-11 was a World Star video. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Don't tell me it, though, because I don't want to know what I'm, his is. Oh, I'm fucking... I'm going to steal both your bits on the cast right now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm doing these bits tonight. I'm going to a mic right. at, like, midnight. Mine is, uh... Mine is... It's, like, a dude uh, posting to his story, like, telling his family that he loves them and he's going to miss them so much when he's dead. Oh, but, but he's got the dog... But he's got yeah. the dog ears, yeah. You've heard this bit. Eric is... Eric... I think Eric's is something like... It's just the, uh... <laughs> It's the people who hijacked the plane taking like selfies and they just have a twerk team behind them like as the <laughs> plane is going to the towers. I don't know. I'll That's have to funny. ask him. Yeah. It's My very... other one was that um just like a boomerang gif of the towers falling down and then going back up. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Yeah, yeah. And then Ben Avery just gave me a tag of like the falling man jumping out with a GoPro. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Um but yeah, nine eleven. It's fucking wacky, dude. Yeah. It's fucking wild. I do some. T- I mean, no, we already talked about this with the Columbine thing. <laughs> but there is like, there's something about you know, just like, it feels like a snow day. It, yeah, it feels like a snow day, dude. <laughs> and honestly, all the fucking ashes raining from the sky certainly mm-hmm. add to that effect. I mean, that's how I felt on like the day before Thanksgiving when we were shopping and all the ash was falling down from the sky from like the wildfires. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh yeah, dude. Oh, it's almost Christmas, <laughs> Brendan. Oh, you. Oh, I wish you had seen the fires in their prime. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta start another fire before Christmas. The fires are fucking well. Be careful. Yeah, the fires are Chestnuts fucking bad, dude. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> um, we should do more singing on this podcast. I think people would like that. Yeah, uh, we we experimented with it a lot of time. Uh, what I was gonna say about nine eleven is like every time because I remember they showed that documentary like a year after they showed the documentary and it's mm-hmm. just like you just see like businessmen, everyone just like running out of their offices. It's, I'd be so tempted to just like start a game of tag. <laughs> like, you know, we're not working. We have a day off. Like it just I don't know why it seems fun. I just want to be a part of all the like the the fuss and hubbub. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Here's a pitch um, for a film. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's this guy is his. He gets in late, and his boss tells him he's like. Johnson, you you, le- you come in late one more day and you're fired. And he's like, but it's Christmas in a couple. Of- you can't fire. Him. He's like, oh, you got one last shot. So then he goes home and he sets a bunch of he sets his alarm clock and he's he's being really careful, you know, and everything. And then he wakes up and the 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 power went out overnight. His alarm. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm late. Right. And he runs. And he gets on the subway. He's like, fuck. He's running. He misses his train. He gets on the other train and then he finally gets there and he steps out. From underground, he gets off the subway, and it's just the towers falling down. He's like, "Woo! Oh <laughs> my god, that was a close one." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's his a fe- boss is dead. Is that a feature length film? Yes. Your picture? Uh, well, all right. Then so it asking, plays you know, out in real time. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I understand. That would be good. People like to be bored. Uh, that sounds like it might be kind of thrilling. <laughs> it's a good like. There's that movie. You know that movie, Remember Me, the Robert Pattinson movie. Oh, the one where just and the reveal is that it pulls out to reveal the twin tower. Like you watch this whole fucking movie, and then like in the last news that you just you see a chalkboard at the school that the kid goes to, and the teacher is writing September 11th, 2001. And then we like pull out Robert Pattinson's. We see where Robert Pattinson works, and the camera just pulls out to reveal the twin towers and cut to black. This feels like a Stephen King idea. It completely does. Yeah, <laughs> this feels it's like so a stupid. Coked up Stephen King twist. I'll never see it coming. <laughs> and then everybody jacks off on the roof. <laughs> oh my god, that would be. 
<laughs> I haven't had a, an, a nice open air jack in a while. Outside? Not that you're supposed to be doing that. Yeah, and, and I, you know what? Let me rephrase that. It's typically rude never, to come outdoors. I have never done that. <laughs> Let me walk you, all you've this. You've never back. jacked off outside. I've never had any sort of ejaculation outside. Because that is fucking ever, illegal. I don't think I've ever masturbated outside. I have fucked outside. Me too. I mean, oh, if we're coming clean about it all. But yeah. Mm-hmm. It is weird to just, like, go to a bush and jack off. You shouldn't be doing yeah, that, that's, in my opinion. That's not too great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I remember in, in high school, my my girlfriend, uh, I would, I would like, just drive over to her house and wait until her parents fell asleep, and then she would meet me in this cornfield, uh... We would just throw a blanket down in, in the cornfield. In a cornfield. In a cornfield. Well, two cornfields. There's one cornfield at her house, one cornfield at my house. You know, it was, it was yeah. rural Pennsylvania. Sure. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got your, your, your cornfields to fuck. Everyone did. And there were, and let me guess, there was like, I bet there wasn't a lot of police activity either. You could just like do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was, they weren't really near roads, but I mean, far, farms are big. A farmer isn't fucking, like a farmer can't look out of his house and see his whole field. Fuck, man. Yeah, so you just fool around this cornfield. But I remember um, eventually we got lazy. We would just leave the sleeping bag there because it was, like, summer and it wasn't really raining. What? I don't know why. You can't be doing that. She, she, look, I date reckless women. I date foolhardy women. Women have to have extremely poor judgment to suck my dick. Right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes sense. So she just left the sleeping bag there and then, like, forgot about it or something. And then one day she came downstairs and the sleeping bag had just like been washed and put away. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> it was one of those moments where it's like, oh, I can't come over for a while. No, you can't. Dude, I remember I was I spent the night at my um high school girlfriend's house and I wasn't supposed to. And because we like it was also one of those weird things where like their parents knew that we because they would just like shut the basement door and not bother us. It's like well, you know, we're fucking down there. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, we're putting pellets in the pellet stove, getting the war- room all warmed up, <laughs> and then we're fucking on your couch. But <laughs> I spent the night, I got too tired, I spent the night, and so, and I slept in her bed, and then at 5 a.m. she, like, woke me up, she's like, you have to hide in my closet, because my father comes down to kiss me good morning every morning. And so I just, like, I literally, like, covered myself in stuffed animals, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> a, like out of American Pie or some shit. And like E.T. Yes, like, I was like E.T., <laughs> Just this, sh- just like in my fucking boxers. Your fucking dick glowing. My dick sucked. Dick's dude. glowing like <laughs> the finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like, <laughs> yeah, and I and I also I like listen to her father like have a conversation with her as I'm just like <laughs> literally just like shaking in her fucking closet. That would be funny if you were like hidden under all the stuffed animals. Then her dad like opened the closet. You were absolutely covered except your dick by mistake, and he just like looks. And he's like. All right, so there's a duck, there's a, a monkey, there's a rabbit, a uh, human cock. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a bear. You, you, the human cock. We got that for you in Seattle. <laughs> Just slowly close the door. I remember when we bought you the realistic human cock. <laughs> <laughs> the softened with fear human dick. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everyone has one. But it was bad, and then I had to sneak out because her mom was still home. So I had to, like, after it was already, I had to, like, crawl out of her closet and then like go through the the base because i couldn't go upstairs so i had to crawl out the basement window and then like scramble over her fence Mm -hmm. and then just walk back to my house because i didn't have a car and she had driven me there (laughs) (laughs) how long of a walk was that uh it was probably like 35 minutes i had to cross richie highway (laughs) (laughs) man Uh, fucking as a teen is really weird i know like looking back on it's like it's so obvious what is occurring to every everyone's parents oh yeah 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 yeah. i god i remember like she it, it's so embarrassing when you think about like how brazen you were like i remember would come over and we would just lay on my couch in the living room with the bl- i just said her name ah can <laughs> we can we edit this yeah really yeah quick? okay hold on uh it was at 19 minutes okay. remember that all right um, I remember my girlfriend would come over. Um, hang on, let me. I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, um, I'm gonna pull something up to write that we said her name because we will forget because I'm very dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, go ahead. 
I remember like my girlfriend would come over and we would just be like on the couch in in my living room, just like with the blanket over both of us. And my <laughs> father would just walk in and he was like, oh, all right, hey guys. <laughs> it's my poor fucking dad. Like, what were we thinking? <laughs> yeah, I remember um I uh because we, we would go for for my neighborhood's cornfield, uh, we would take this uh, sleeping bag that I had in my car out and like walk with it and then lay it down and then once a neighbor lady was like, "What the fuck? Are you walking through my backyard into the damn cornfield?" <laughs> oh my! And we're God. like, "We're stargazing," and she went, uh, "Oh, okay." Because <laughs> like oh. we're, we're not her kids, she doesn't give a shit. She was she thought we were gonna egg the place or something. She's like, oh, "Okay, teens fucking in the corn. That's fine." Yeah, as long as you say any word that's not "we're fucking," they're like, "All right, good enough." <laughs> you didn't yeah. say what you were doing. They're like, "Please just say that you're not fucking." Yeah, yeah, yeah. just look me in my eyes. So we t- we take the <clears throat> we take the we would take the sleeping bag there. And uh, also, I should say when I, when I say fucking, there was, it wasn't any actual intercourse. It was all just like fooling around. So basically, I just fingered this girl like a thousand times on this sleeping bag, <laughs> and uh, obviously, it it took on it. That sounds. Like I'm not going to say a, a smell, curse. perhaps an aroma. <laughs> it took on, you know, you know, a, a teen's pussy has a a unique smell. Yeah, I I mean, I from memory, I haven't smelled one in quite a quite a time. What a, you know. <laughs> Just keep talking. But, uh, so, you know, eventually this sleeping bag was completely <coughs> soaked through with, like, teen pussy juice. And, uh, I just, I would just throw it in the back of my car and not give a shit. But then I remember one day my dad was borrowing my car. Oh, my God. And my car had been baking in the sun. Oh, my God, dude. In, like, 100 degree July heat. And your father was, like. Fucking baking. Your father was, like, I know this. I'm very familiar with this. <coughs> yeah, yeah. My dad gets in the car. And for the first time in decades, just smells teens' pussy juice. He probably got a little tear in his eye. <laughs> probably. He probably got wistful. But uh, then he 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 ran in the errand or whatever, and he came back, and uh, he just came in the house like mad, and he's like, "Clean your car!" And then I go out, and the sleeping bag is just in the trash can. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude! Yeah. So you know. Uh, Teens listening to this, if we have any <laughs> teens who listen, uh, just don't use the sleeping bag. That's yeah. the moral here. Or, I mean, just fuck on the bare corn. Fuck on husks. Getting fingered a thousand times in a cornfield sounds like some sort of like, like it sounds like like death by a thousand cuts or something. It sounds like some weird fucking era of punishment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does sound like, like some sort of not hell, but it's like some sort of while you're waiting for the real afterlife that's what happens to you yeah 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 it's some sort of purgatory punishment so it's something yeah, yeah. some sort of curse that's put on you some it, for some reason it feels to me like sort of like a dragon ball z type afterlife <sighs> getting finger have you seen dragon ball z no but i mean you know how it's like I know it's it, not really it, heaven you're just like on the snake highway <laughs> i guess I, I mean no i understand the analogy i don't uh, <laughs> the image of getting fingered a thousand times you know i'll give it to you it's I'm mildly gonna, I'm pleasant, give you, you know? Yeah. I bet there's colors. You think that it's pleasant? Getting um, fingered? In a corn... A thousand times in a corn... I'm imagining... Getting like, fingered by me at my prime where I was watching all kinds of YouTube video... To, not YouTube. You, you porn, like, tutorials and shit on how to finger chicks. You were watching tutorials on how to finger chicks? Yeah, you never did that? No. I w- yeah, I'd watch, like, every video I could find about, like, how to pleasure women. Like, I did this years before I ever, like, hooked up with a girl. Excuse me? That's fucking wild, dude. Yeah, there's this one where um I think it's like what's her name? Like Nina it, some porn star na- her first name is Nina and there's this video of her she's wearing like long white elegant gloves and she's fingering this lady and like teaching you what she's doing and Right. There's this other one that's that's kind of weirder <clears throat> where it's just this uh this fat guy in a Hawaiian shirt, like just covering his hands in fucking grape seed oil, and uh, just like roughly fingering this woman, but she's just like exploding. She's squirting so much, right? And he looks like, like he looks like Ron Jeremy, but Ron Jeremy's Ron Jeremy. So you're like, oh yeah, that's fine, right? But a guy who looks like Ron Jeremy Isn't doing porn, oh no, I can't believe you watched this stuff. Yeah, and I, I when did you when did you start? Like. 13, 12? Probably like, like 14, 15. Just prepping? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. just like... <laughs> I was like, someday I'm going to fuck. You were just stocking up like mental, like, mm-hmm. that's wild, man. Yeah, yeah. Because at first it was like, oh, I got to get really good for my wife. Because like, for some reason, even even when I stopped believing in, in God, I, for some reason, still was like a sex till, me- like no sex till marriage guy. 
till like 17 or something. I think things are very, I think that when things get imprinted on you, as things, I mean, it's like the leaving the front door. I think that <clears> sometimes <throat> things get imprinted on you and you believe them. And like, even like you can't even rationalize yourself yeah, out yeah. of believing them. Like, like the reason that people don't want to have sex till marriage is because they think that they'll go to hell or like God doesn't want you to right. or something. For me, it was just like, that was the starting point. It's like, well, you're not supposed to have sex before marriage. And based off that pol- bo- belief, <laughs> then Christianity comes into play. You... <laughs> You love rules. <laughs> you love... I fucking love rules, You love dog. giving yourself weird fucking rules. Yeah, rules are important, except for my comedy. I break all the rules up there. That's I'm not... like fucking Kinnison if or you Bill were... Hicks. No, 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 Brandon. You, <laughs> if you were breaking rules, you'd be playing songs out of your cell phone when you went on stage. <laughs> you adhere to a tight set of rules. You're right. I like uh, I like club comedy. I like set up punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, lo- you got so mad that I figured out a way... To uh, not pay for parking tickets. I was I joking, t- dude. <laughs> I think you were a little mad. <laughs> you, you I just, was astonished. You, you but... said you said with this with a stone look on me. She's like, someone should fix that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were just you, it, obviously. I don't think that the government should pass a new law to fuck my friend. You, you went full Jordan Peterson. You're like, it's it's bloody chaos. <laughs> <laughs> we need order. <laughs> <laughs> look, we need order. <laughs> we fucking need. I mean, like, we do. It is funny that you can just like drive like if, if you get enough tickets on a car it can become an economic decision to just drive it off a cliff yeah <laughs> yes dude just like the fucking mob <laughs> and then and then that like no what it's it is crazy now in some states you do but in the majority of states once the car is junked it's like no one owes that like it's like a ghost like like nothing i thought you said that the junkyard owes the tickets that was what i thought was uh, really I, if crazy. they try to auction the car they have to but oftentimes they just uh crush it into a cube mm-hmm. a nice cube yeah but then like the title doesn't someday exist i'll be a cube yeah, someday we'll all be cubes dude <laughs> that's gonna be like cremation We're, the graveyards <laughs> are running out of room mm-hmm. um but I, I get the rules thing i like i also like I think there's something to be said for like uh, limiting your life, to, like as a form of like motivation. Because I was I was working out and just like listening to I have this album that's just harmonica music, mm-hmm. and I was just working out listening to harmonica music. And Colin just like my roommate pokes his head in and goes, "Are you lifting weights and listening to harmonica music?" And I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "You want to be in jail so bad. <laughs> like, you, you want to be." He's like, "You just been it's eating. True. You love jail." I I just think that like. I do think I would do pretty good in jail. <laughs> Just like one, t- I think that I could become. Well, people keep trying to fight you. Yeah, and I'm ready to take them on. <laughs> I wouldn't be winning the fights, but I can't get hit in the back of the head. I at least want to face my assailant. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I it's... bet you could get a couple swings in before you're penetrated. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think I would do well in jail. I mean, I'll soon find out. Oh, really? No, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, anything I was like, happen. huh, I guess Nick's going to jail. Yeah, I, probably, I might go to jail one day. <laughs> I guess I'm going to flub my way through some solo casts. <laughs> you'll do, I think that you'll do great. <laughs> Just look at Bill Burr can do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, if one of the greatest working comics today can do it, so can I. You certainly can. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, man, something about just because I, I I can I can be kind of minimalist. Four walls in the bed, mm-hmm. fucking pull up bar. That makes I like refining a, my body. I like design. I like to to lay out the space in a pleasing way. You get to lay it when if you're good, you get to lay out the space. Some jail cells even let you have a little TV that can have VHS tapes in it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a Damn. fun time? I want my um I want my poster of a lady. That's what yes. I want. That, I, I mean, want my fucking Shawshank cell. I want to make little chess pieces. Dude, I want a fucking poster. I'm going to hang up a poster of a woman in my room. Right now, the only poster in my room is a poster of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that'd be, that's what you need is a nice classic. It's just like a, a, a poster of like a lady in front of a cool car. Yeah, I would love that. That would be very good for you. It's something that I, it's it's two things that I'm like not interested in at all. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, it would be the most ironic. It's like, I don't give a fuck about cars. I don't give a fuck about that kind of woman. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a, a poster that would actually make sense for you would be, like, if you could somehow visualize the abstract concept of power. Yes. Or if it were even just, like, just, like, a cute girl with, like, short hair and tattoos, and then just, like, a, <laughs> a bu- she's holding, like, a bucket of Popeye's chicken. And I was like, <laughs> all right, that's for guys, you know, fe- real fellas understand, dude. 
<laughs> just some, you know. You just want a suicide girl with snacks. I want a suicide girl with fucking with fucking fried treats. <laughs> that we sounds could all nice. just me and all my boys could just sit around her, just guys being guys, mm-hmm. staring, staring at her with <laughs> just chicken. staring at a woman. That's Do you literally... eat the chicken? No, no. Well, no. I your <laughs> your sexual fantasy is just you and all your boys all staring at a clothed well, woman. No, because dude, like that's what old fucking like uh, my my friend's dad back in um. Back in Maryland, like he's got this garage in the back where he just like works on old cars, mm-hmm. and sometimes he'd just invite us back there to like smoke weed, weed with him, and he would just show us all the pages of like the pinup girls on his calendar. Oh, okay, Sh- you all look at the picture. I thought, I thought you were describing a scenario where you and all your boys are in the garage. There's a woman there physically with chicken, and you all just look at. No, her. no, 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 no. When I'm, I mean. First things first, we're getting the poster. When I'm rich, we'll hire a real broad to, <laughs> yeah. to fucking tease us. To stand holding a big frame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like my poster? <laughs> Imagine being so rich that you just like made people, made women arrange themselves like furniture. That would be nice. That's like that's like eyes wide shut level. Like, <laughs> I really could get into that. Mm-hmm. That yeah, that would be fun. Like that'd be an interesting character to have in a film. Like a man who goes home. And everything in his house is just nude people who are like silent, like with their their bodies painted completely a solid Dude, color. Incredible power. Mm-hmm. And what do you think they're getting paid? I wonder. I, just, I would just do that a man shit. holding like a hot on light bulb. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that shit, dude. <laughs> I've already breached the fucking surface, but <laughs> <laughs> the you know I, I'm like jumping all over the place. The weirdest part in Eyes Wide Shut when he goes into the party, he gets that cab driver to take him. And after he finds out where the party is, he gets the cab driver to take him, and he goes, uh, "I need you to stay here all night." Uh, he's like, "I'll tip you a hundred dollars," and he hands him a hundred, but then he rips the hundred in half, and he gives him. He's like, "If you want the other half, wait for me when I come back." And it's like, "Well, no, it's usually you can't." That hundred is useless. <laughs> like you nah. just ripped. Can you tape it back together? Yeah, yeah, you can tape it back together. And sure. that works. Yes, anyone will take that hundred. Really? If you have both both pieces, and uh, if you have more than half of a bill, you can send it to the Federal Reserve and they'll replace it. Really? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. all. So I'm a bank boy, Nick. You are, man. Mm-hmm. You just fucking poked a hole right yeah. in that. I read a story about um someone found like mob money in like a building they were tearing down it, it had been all fucked up and eaten by rats and like rotted and shit and they send it in the federal reserve they just send you back new bills that's all i'm trying to find some old bills dude. yeah yeah we got to get start knocking down buildings how do you send you can just send what's the federal reserve's address uh i don't i think it's in dc i don't know damn dude i mean they have uh i mean they have different facilities around the country cuz i mean that's where the cash is Right. There's, I don't understand how money works at all. Well, if a bank needs money, they order it from the Federal Reserve, and then it comes in a truck, and a man with a gun gives it to you. <laughs> I know that that's true, but explaining it like that is so funny. It is funny, because like, every time the guy comes in, I always look at the gun. The whole time he's there, I'm like, because you know, it's a bank, I'm like, wow, guns aren't normally supposed to be in here. Yeah, It's no- kind of exciting. Yeah. It's like all the, you know, it's like the teacher swore... It's like everyone's breaking the rules. Right, right. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a teacher? Sw- did the teachers swear? Yes, when you were a kid? I had a couple teachers who swore, and they were like, "And I don't think you can do it anymore." I think now, if you swear and you're a teacher, <laughs> like you're fucking done. Like I'm cell sure. phone videos will get you. I used to love. Who the fuck was Mr. Kandra? Swore he would do when he swore it was fucking awesome. <laughs> Mr. Blackman, who died, of, he was the, the Mr. Blackman was the best dude, and he was like. Uh, Oh, man, I'm going down a hole right now. Um, he was the guy who got me into Shakespeare. He would swear, and it was sick. The first teacher I ever heard swear, uh, Mr. Pomfrey, who uh, later was accused of uh, fucking groping the fourth graders. I, th- <laughs> this guy was like, there was something fucking wicked about this guy, dude. Like, just this ball. He's touching children. They're like, hey, language. <laughs> <laughs> no, he literally, he looked like a textbook pedophile. He was very mean to me. Mm-hmm. And I, he would read us, I think, he, was it? The princess brought. He read us the book. The princess. Were you bride. not a hot kid or something that he was bullying? I was. Or was he a, negging you? I you were a hot. He kid. was neg- I was definitely. Man, it sucks. I've been looking at pictures of myself when I was a little kid. I was like, ah, I was a lot hotter. <laughs> it was like I was way hotter like fifteen mm-hmm. years ago. <laughs> um, but he, uh, I remember like the word hell was printed in uh, the Princess Bride, and he like 
fucking ha- he like overly enunciated it. He like hammed it up for us, <laughs> and we were all like, "Oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> damn, that sucks." He was trying to impress. He was kids. trying to impress me, and then later we had these individual evaluations uh, where we would meet with him in his room alone. Uh, we would go in like Mr. Knapp's room, and then we would go have the individual evaluations for fourth grade. And he goes, uh, oh, yeah, he goes, Nikolaus John Reitz Oldershaw. He goes, you know, when I first read your name, I imagined, like, a muscular boy just, like, sitting naked in a hot spring. <laughs> and I was nine, and I was like, ah, yeah, you know. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I was like, that's not me. <laughs> hmm. Damn, uh, and then it, that teacher wanted to fuck you, well, dude. He got, he got fired for letting little girls sleep in his lap. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be doing that, dude. You're not supposed to do that one bit. I yeah. remember we had, we had this teacher, um, my second grade teacher, because all the kids were, like, swearing at recess. So she had, like, a big class meeting about it where we, were, we all sat on the ground. She sat in the chair. She's like, there have been a lot of swear words. Uh, what are some swear words you know? And then people were raising their hand. They're like, the A word? And yeah. she's like, ass. And we're like, <gasps> <laughs> So it's like, the Just... H word? And she's like, hell. <laughs> we're like, oh. <laughs> and then one kid's like, the N word? And she's like, um, no. Um, <laughs> we're not, we're not uh, what about that. a different one? <laughs> the B word? Bitch. <sighs> and then she like went through all of them except like fuck or cunt or the N word. Or and, then, and then at the end, she's like, and now, but you don't say them. And we're like, Whoa, what the fuck happened today? <laughs> well, you know what's great? Realizing that, like, because a lot of the things that, like, what a mentally ill display of power that she chose to. Because <laughs> that's the other thing is, like, you realize all these people that you thought were adults when you were in, like, second or third, they were, like, 23 years old often. Mm-hmm. Like, you just had, like, they were teachers who were, like, barely adults themselves. Yeah, yeah. Just making bad choices for how to, like, shape the mind. Yeah, someone who, like, blacked out and got, like, dick down the night before. And then they're like, <laughs> and then they would, fuck, you know what? I have dated a few teachers, and that's definitely true. <laughs> that's definitely true. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but, like, ah, man, what the fuck was the, oh, yeah, I remember, like, I remember Mr. Knapp, uh, he showed us, like, when we were in fifth grade, he showed us uh, Ding Fries Are Done on uh, I remember Funny that. Jo- yeah, just, it just openly making fun of people with Down Syndrome. That was fine back then. Yeah, it was for some reason it was fine, except mm-hmm. there was a special needs child in the class. <laughs> <laughs> Benny was in the class. Mm-hmm. Benny saw it all. Benny cried. I went home and told my dad about it. He and cried? Yeah, he didn't like it because he because then he like got it. Well, I think people started like making like pointing at him, like making but not Benny didn't have Down syndrome, but there was some other stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, kind of Yeah. Not, not not quite a one for one, but he had a mixed up brain. He did. His brain was... He had a silly brain. <laughs> he was like a silly goose up there. He was on the Down syndrome spectrum. I don't know if that's real. There, there, that is <laughs> not at all a thing. <laughs> Down syndrome is not a spectrum. and You no. have it or you don't. No, you know, everyone has... It's like, it's like uh, you know, I'm woke, Nick, so I don't know about you. You may have out out um, outdated views on Down syndrome, but to me, you know, it's a spectrum. And, no, you it, know, we're all a little bit Downs. Brendan, it has to do with n- the number of chromosomes you have. Yeah, you know, and um, we're all somewhere on that spectrum. No. Stop. (laughs) (laughs) What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. I'm trying to invent new takes. You can't be doing that, dude. I'm running out of opinions. For this podcast? (laughs) I don't know. You can't be. (laughs) And I'm I'm not. I I feel like I have new. My opinion's. I have to keep checking myself because I'll. I'll What's your newest opinion? I don't know. I've been developing some strange ones. Ooh. (laughs) And then I. Well, go on. No, I can't. A lot of them, I, I can't. Are too much even for this? They're a little bit too much even for the cast, dude. Wow. That's pretty bad. What's my new opinion? Um, I don't know. I feel like uh, I'm running into a problem where, um, and this, this happened to me the last time I tried to take antidepressants, which is just like, it reduces my anxiety so much that it's like I took the, the weight vest off, and then I'll, I'll just say anything in any situation. I have been noticing that. <laughs> so I can think of one specific instance recently. <laughs> Is this going to bury me too much if you say it on the cast? No. Ju- yeah, I, I don't, it's not going to—it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the other people involved. Oh, okay. Where, but, you, but you just said something. You were, you were coming in hot <laughs> based on who you were talking to and what you were talking about, and I was just sitting in there like— Okay, all right, Brendan. What was it? What was I talking about? Uh, it, the person got mad at you, and then you texted me about it like later. You're like, I didn't realize she was mad at me. Oh, yeah, that situation. Yeah. Okay. That- I heard you I heard you popping those little zingers off, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was doing it at the at the comedy store last night because um, 
I was hanging out with this kid, and he is his he his family's from from Yemen. And somehow this riff introduced it wasn't my riff, but someone was introducing a riff about like what if what if he was trans, and then my riff was what like, if? oh, he'd have to cut up his driver's license because he's Arab, like. Like if you turn trans, like they don't let you drive you don't anymore. Drive anymore. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you yeah. know that got a big laugh. But then I turned and I looked at who was at the table behind me, and it was like, not the sort of comics who would appreciate that sort of thing. Yeah, but and they I was like, to... ah, fuck. <laughs> but it's probably uh, that. That's par for the course of the comedy store, though. Like, they yeah, have to expect yeah. to hear that. That makes sense. I think you'd have to cut up his driver's license. Yeah, yeah. I so, bet it was better in the moment. It was. No, it was. <laughs> it got a big laugh. You know, because it it was timely. It was like alley-ooping off something someone else said. It was timely. I didn't need to repeat it. Um, but uh, someone else, uh, someone was saying, like, they're like, oh, man. So I said something else. Someone was like, that joke has a lot of layers. And then later I thought about it. I was like, no, it's just two. It was racism and homophobia. Racism and homophobia. <laughs> so it had two layers. Well, no, sexism, not homophobia. It was a different joke. It oh. was a different joke I was making. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm making friends, you know. At the comedy you know, I'm, store. I'm, settle- I'm settling into L.A., you know. I got yeah. buddies now. Everyone, I just got. To, everyone, everyone likes me, Nick. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. You're a likable guy. Yeah. Despite your, uh, despite your lesser qualities, but everyone, everyone's <laughs> rough around the edges. Yeah, yeah. I got booked on a show the day before I leave. Um, I'm excited. I'm on a show with Good Comics. Oh, that's good. Where and, is it? Uh, it's in Silver Lake Echo Park. I have to look. And I'm not gonna do stand up before I do it. No. I'm fully confident in myself. I was running my bits in the car today. Oh my god! Who's great. on the show? Uh, I know Deborah De Giovanni's on it. Uh, three, some other like good people are on the show. Nice. <clears throat> and I'm not practicing at all. <laughs> so you're. You, when's the last time you did stand up? Oh boy. Whew. <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> it's been a minute. So it's been like three weeks. Whenever that we went to Flappers last. Oh, that's been longer than three weeks. Okay, so like, it's been like a month. So you're going to do this one set, and then you're going to do 45 minutes in Baltimore. No, I'm going to do this one set. I'm going to go do some open mics. I'm going to do a 10-minute spot on a book show in Baltimore, and then I'm doing 45 minutes in Baltimore. All right. That's all the time I need. All right. This is what this is exactly what I did last time I went home and headlined. <laughs> <laughs> Palm of my hand, dude. <laughs> Oh man, watch this! Watch this be my greatest folly. <laughs> like, <laughs> watch you is... bomb for forty-five <laughs> minutes in front of all the high school girls you were trying to fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> it's so going back to Baltimore. Is so it's mm-hmm. like it's so warm and inviting and nice. Like there's no yeah. pressure. The st- the pressure to do like going back out. It can be very nice, but then it can also be like this. Just reminded me of uh, my friend Nate Marshall. Uh, used to have this very funny joke about like, uh, ha- like having a dream at a a class reunion that hasn't panned out yet, where people oh, just think shit. you're crazy. Yeah, so they're like, you see Nate over there? He thinks he's a comedian. Oh fuck! <laughs> I do. I haven't. I missed my first class reunion that we had. I just didn't go to Did it. Did you have a five year one? Yeah, we had a five year one. Oh. oh shit, man! I guess the ten year one is fucking coming up. That's cr- dude. That's insane. I'm gonna be at my 10 year class reunion, and I've squandered my <laughs> life. You're like, I'm. Gonna, you should check out. Um, you should. You should check out. Uh, happy hour. <laughs> uh, wait, happy hour. Yeah, that's what you'd be. Oh telling yeah, people yeah, yeah. To check I, out. I was like, did you forget the name of our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, what? <laughs> no, hey, I happy, had a stroke. Happy. Hey, look, man. Happy hour has a nice amount of views. We're in the. We're, it's it's got the the five digits. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. It it sucks, man. It sucks to go on Facebook and see like this dude who, in my mind, uh, is still like I knew this dude Zach, and I knew him because we did puppet ministry together at Woods. You know, we fucking proselytized to the Pardon? children. Pardon? Well, puppet ministry. Why would you? What do you mean? You heard me. P- we would we would fucking put on these shows. We would be mm-hmm. lip syncing to a mm-hmm. cassette. We'd fucking proselytize to the to the to the young bucks at Woods Church. And get them. What was on the cassette? On the fucking glory track. Uh, old, like, approved, like, uh, like skits and, like, plays that have religious themes. I was a fucking good puppeteer, dude. There's a, there's a, I You didn't even traveled. get to do the voices? No, sometimes we would, but a lot of times they, because it just saved, because we put them on so often that instead of, like, memorizing and practicing that it was just easier to, like, lip sync them. Mm-hmm. Um, like, he was a fucking art form. <laughs> uh, and Damn, I still think Puppet lip syncing is <laughs> just the... What a shitty art form. Well, when I when I think of Zach, the guy I did it with, like in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, when I see Zach again, he's gonna be like that same goofball that was doing that with me. 
in like high school, just like a funny, gregarious guy. I looked him up on Facebook. He's married and uh, has his own law firm. So safe to say, that it's it's like I just realized like all of my uh, all of my images of people that I knew in my head are like horribly outdated. Oh. They've, they've all become adults. Yes, and I am doing the same thing. Yeah, and we have we have delayed adulthood. So long. Indefinitely. So that we can move to California and, and start a podcast or whatever the fuck we're doing. Yeah, man, that's a good thing. It's I mean, just, it's, it's going fine, but... It is just... It's why I'm like... When I really think, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm almost 26. I was like, my parents were fucking getting ready to have me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, my parents were trying to have me for... My parents got married at 21. They didn't... They didn't had us at when they were like 35. What the fuck was going on with your parents, dude? Uh, fertility problems. Oh, okay. That's why I'm, that makes that's why I'm so small. Yeah, that's right. Because I was a fucked up test tube baby so and a premature big. twin. He is so big. They didn't go through all the shit for, I guess, w- we were the fucking dry run. We got all the tubes aligned and shit, and then they accidentally had him. I was thinking about, when you were talking about girls blowing you earlier, I was just like in my head thinking about how low they would have to get. But I keep forgetting that you're not just dating women who are 5'8". I wish I could. I don't know why. In my head, I always think of you just like with your big, just like with, with a, a big wife. I would love a large wife. Yeah, dude. Look, if there's anyone large listening to this podcast, tall, let's say tall, <laughs> there's anyone very tall on this podcast, like seven feet tall, who wants to ball me up. Yeah, dude. I want to see you swaddled in like some yeah. woman's papoose. My sexual fantasy is just to be fucking mashed up in your fist. Into a ball. Yeah. Just roll it up into a ball and then throw it right up in your pussy. That's awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. You ever look up giant in there? Te- you ever- I want to turn into a pearl. <laughs> <laughs> you ever look up giant test porn? Uh, no. Oh, come on. This you're isn't lying. actually a kink of mine. It's yeah. just like a fun. It just it's fun to think about. It, there's so there's so many funny. I keep talking about shit on DeviantArt, but there's mm-hmm. there are so many funny, uh, <laughs> like <laughs> like pieces of porn artwork where it's just a woman. Shrinking a man down with uh, usually a ray gun of some sort, and then lifting him up and dropping him into her mouth, and then like the third panel is him like being digested. In her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. Funny. I love that kind of like where you're you're straight so wrong <laughs> that like you may as well be gay. It's like you do want a woman to be doing this, but everything else is completely <laughs> off base. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a man who like has a. It's like a man on an island who just has boners, but he has no idea what they're for. It's like, you tell me, like, you explain to me that your sexual fantasy is like, well, I want a woman to digest me in her stomach. He's like, dude, you didn't even get near the pussy. Like, you're, cause you're, <laughs> your mark is so off. Is she naked? What is, is this? She, nah, she's wearing her clothes, and she's, and I'm going to be her meal. It's like, uh, <laughs> so you can, so you literally like, well, like, that, your fetish, were it to come true, could only happen once. <laughs> and I don't even think you come. Are you coming as you're being digested? Probably not. Yeah, your dick but- has no bones bones or muscle in it, it's probably going to get digested first. It's, that's true. What yeah. a wretched, wretched Probably kink. first what goes is the dick, then like the nose and ears. Yeah. Man, that's, if you get, if someone cuts open the, the woman and saves you, you're going to have no face. You're going to have blue balls for the rest of your life, yeah. too. It's going to be terrible. It's like, oh, I was almost done. <laughs> I did find once this uh, Japanese kind of porn um, where it's like a short man and a very tall woman, and they make the man stand on like a ladder, and the girl sucks his dick. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I kind of <laughs> liked it. I'd be so nervous about falling off. <laughs> <laughs> There's different ones. They're like the one they made him stand on a bunch of phone books and shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. And then they suck his dick. He goes, oh. <laughs> I love they do these. They do this shit now where they get there's this really skinny guy in porn. He's, they, they use him in all of them. He's skinny. He looks like he, I think he's like thirty, but he looks like he's nineteen or whatever. Mm-hmm. And those get these big, broad, not like not big women, but like uh, like uh, statuesque women, like Amazonian. And they just they just fucking pick this kid up and flip him over and start forcibly like sucking his dick. <laughs> like they're basically just like bench pressing this kid. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> That's what, man, I want to get bench pressed. Dude, you want to? I want to get sex bench pressed. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It's hilarious. I want a woman to power lift me over her head and then suck my dick. And then just eat my ass in the air. Spin me around like a pizza pie. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I want. I want to get tossed like dough, bitch. I want a woman to goof around with my body. I want a a big, strong (laughs) woman to... to, I want a big, strong woman to to toss me around carelessly. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe you fall. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, that sounds fun. I think I would enjoy that. I would enjoy just being bothered by a big lady. 
<laughs> yeah, I just kind of like poked and prodded at. <laughs> Don't fuck me. No one, no one should fuck me. Please, no. please, no one fuck me. Oh man. Oh. It's gonna be nice when I go home. Oh yes. It'll be good. <laughs> I was. Oh, I, I told at the party. I told you. <laughs> Ben was like, I was hanging out with my friend Ben, and he was like, uh, I was like, yeah, man, I'm trying to get in shape, because when I go home, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to fuck someone I went to high school with, and that'll just be nice for me. And he goes, you're an old man. <laughs> you're like a 50-year-old. That'll be nice for you? <laughs> that does suck. I said, like, John Cusack coming back into town and, like, gross point blank. Like, I've got other business. I think you're also depressed, Nick. Do you think <laughs> Some so? Some of the things you say. Dude, I'm fucking powering through, though. <laughs> I yeah, use my you know, depression. You're out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I realized that I, um, I... So I realized something really sad. I When I realized that I was depressed is I found myself saying to myself out loud... Maybe I'll treat myself to a nice diet ginger ale. Oh, I heard you say that, and I was like, what the f- I, like, literally heard you in the wild saying that, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, <laughs> yeah. stop. Like, to me, that's a big treat. An indulgence. <laughs> I think depression is just the coal in my engine, man. It just propels me further. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Let's see. You're not doing stand up. You're just like uh, I'm just turning my body into a into a into fucking a, a diamond. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just refining myself into a mm-hmm. you know a Swarovski. Uh, all I'm saying is that you got a lot of time in the day. You could be doing both. No, all my time is devoted to lifting. <laughs> you lift all day. No. What did you do today? Let's go through an average next day. Oh, stop. <laughs> Uh, what did I do? I forget what I did, like, as the day goes on. Um, <laughs> what the fuck do I do? I mean, you're basically retired. You wake up, you make some <laughs> toast, you putter around the house, get the paper. I don't putter. I don't putter. <laughs> you're puttering, dog. Dude, I don't fucking putter. I run. Mm-hmm. So I usually, I run for, like, an hour. Okay. I'll come home and lift weights for an hour. That's two hours. All right. We're so done. That's two hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's two hours that you come over and record the podcast? <laughs> yeah, third hour. The, the coward hour is the third hour. And uh-huh. What do you want from me? I don't know. Just what are, what are you spending all your time on? I ride the train a lot. You just, I just ride the train to like new parts of town. You just ride it back and forth. I just rode it to Pasadena a couple days ago. And just like a heroin it. addict. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that, but <laughs> Pasadena's nice. Yeah, you're basically, I think Tim and I made this observation once. Like you live, you are a junkie, but you don't do drugs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you just have like baffling, like your phone's always, your phone's always dead. <laughs> You're always like showing up with laundry. <laughs> what I think I show, I showed up with laundry because you guys have a fucking Dom does that too. We're doing a bit, Nick. It's, I don't like yes, this. and the bit. It does. I don't like it at all. <laughs> you show up. You have someone else's car randomly. He gave me his car. I don't like this bit. He gave me his car. <laughs> his car's a piece of shit. It is a piece of shit. But total piece. I mean, Isaac, I'm sorry if you. He's not gonna listen to this. Thank no. God. Um, the only time Isaac listens like to this podcast junkie. is when we interrupt his nap, recording it next to him. <laughs> when, when he's fucking on the other side of that wall, just miserably listening to the podcast. I don't think that I'm like a... Look, I'm a free spirit. <laughs> I, my, roommate des- my roommate described my lifestyle as uh, like a Spartan, which I have been running with. <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's- laughs> I, I literally, like, I, was, I just ran into my other roommate, Cameron, uh, this morning. I was shirtless. I was just eating peanuts out of a can. And I was like, you know, Colin says I'm kind of like a Spartan. <laughs> so I'm just like... <laughs> Damn, he should not have told you that. Oh, dude, it will never that- leave my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going to buy a spear. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine me with a spear. Oh, we can't be having that. <laughs> dude, I, I got to get a spear. I mean... It's going to be a, when all, when you have a hammer, all your problems look like nails situation. You're going to spear somebody. You're going to fucking, I'm going to come over and you're going to have just like upwardly speared a police horse. <laughs> the guy fucking goes sailing over the top of the horse, I would cracks be, his head on the ground. I would never spear the horse, dude. Well, the horse is a cop. It doesn't matter. You don't like I cops, would, do you? I would try to reform the horse. <laughs> I'd I train would, it dude. to not be a cop. I would train the horse to not be a cop. I fully That'd be would. tough. That that horse loves being a cop, dude. Brendan, you act like you know the inner workings of a horse's mind, which is one of the most complex and beautiful things on this <laughs> earth. <laughs> <laughs> a horse is not in is no more inherently a cop that I mean, like, you could completely recondition it. I would admit that horse would be so chill once I was done with him. It would come into the garage with me, we'd stare at the woman. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
Man, that would be great if we could teach a horse to be horny for women. I think they are, right? <laughs> Isn't that like, don't women fuck horses? Like, the dick gets hard. I feel um, like it responds to any stimulus. Do women fuck? I mean, I know men fuck horses. Oh, like in the ass. Yeah, I like thought Mr. That, Hands. No, 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 no. There's that famous piece of, uh, one of the earliest pieces of pornography is bestiality, because it's a woman fucking a Shetland pony. Really? Yes. It's famous. Oh, yeah, I guess donkey shows. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Mm-hmm. How would you feel if you found out your wife had just, like, once fucked a horse? <sighs> um, all things considered, there are worse options. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, I know. It's Okay, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, that wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, that Whatever. makes sense. What animal would bum you out the most if your wife fucked it? <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, my God. I think your room is dusty. It might be, yeah. My sinuses are going crazy. Um, I think gorilla would be kind of hurtful because gorillas they have, have small dicks. They have small dicks. Their dicks suck. So you'd be like, oh, she just wants to fuck a gorilla. Also, there's no way that you fuck a gorilla and like live to t- like. If your wife tells you that she fucked a gorilla, you'd be like, yeah, well, I gathered that you have no arms. <laughs> I figured that something along those lines happened. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. You ever read about how uh, Stalin was, he was like trying to get volunteers to fuck apes to create like a half breed between ape and man to enslave? God, and they think Stalin was smart. <laughs> it's like, I feel like we knew that that didn't work by then, right? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, probably. But it to me, it is funny because like what I what I read about that, and granted, that this is going to be one of those ones where someone texts us and t- says that we're wrong. But I, I think I got this from, like, a Reddit, a Reddit today I learned years ago. But the way that it was phrased is, like, they just put out, like, an ad in the paper for volunteers. Like, someone would just be patriotic and read that and be like, well, I guess my country needs me to fucking ape. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so... Man, they really, ha- they really believed in communism. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the idea was, like, s- late in the war that it just never... It never got put into place. Like, America just won the war before that. Right, that's right. I, dude, that's right. World War II got so dicey, everyone was getting a little crazy with their theories. Yeah, they were doing magic and yeah, shit. Yeah, Hitler was doing magic. There were people, like, parachuting out of planes with, like, just the entire, like, runic alphabet, like, tattooed across their body. <laughs> they were looking for that spear that killed Jesus. Mm-hmm. What the fuck were they doing? People yeah, got really worried. This shit, like, really isn't fictionalized as much as you would expect. What? Like, World War II, when it gets, like, wacky, it turns into, like, Wolfenstein and shit. There's not enough, like there's not really that me- that many movies where like an SS guy is just fucking chanting runes as he kills you. Yeah, I mean, well, there are, but never. N- it's never done in like the serious context. Like, yeah, it actually happens. it's so always, always like, can be. It's movie. like werewolf woman of the SS so, yeah, type yeah, yeah. shit, or or like that fucking movie Overlord that just came out. Like, uh, yeah, but that shit did happen. And I know, like, and people are gonna tell me didn't. I, I got a friend who's a history buff. He ran me down the whole fu- history his, Hitler's secret occult army. <laughs> Which is like my favorite thing the Nazis tried to do was just like build the big gun. <laughs> like I don't not, know about this. Oh, okay, like it it wasn't like because when you imagine in a modern like a giant gun, oh, like a missile launcher, no, a giant fucking long gun that shoots a an enormous bullet like <laughs> miles and miles and miles. Oh my god! It doesn't explode, just a big damn gun. That is so stupid to shoot down the moon. That's what they wanted to do? I don't know. What were they going to do? Well, no. They're like, I bet there's Jews up there. (laughs) (laughs) No time to find out. Build a giant gun. I think I talked to... I'm so stupid that, like, when I was playing Wolfenstein, The New Order, and you get to the part where it's in the 60s, and the Nazis have, like, already, like, been to the... They've, like, set up a base on the moon. My retarded brain was like, wow. I mean, (laughs) like, I was like, well, you got to admit, like, they did progress pretty. Like, I guess that's the trade-off. (laughs) <laughs> it's like you, you, your technology progresses really faster. And then it, it took me like 10 minutes later to be like, no, it wouldn't have. Like, that's not how technology was going to work either way. Yeah, yeah. Like, but my dumbass brain was really like, I mean, I get, you know, that's the price of fucking world domination, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, they had to lose, which is upset because I would love a hovercraft. Yeah, like, I don't know why. Like, that's if the you- Nazis had won, I feel like it would be, we would be living in a very, although I, man. It'd be an inept world. It would have to be. There's no way. I just want to go on the record here and say that if the Nazis had won, it would be bad. Can right, I right, say right. that, Nick? That's what I meant <laughs> yeah, to say. No, 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 no. I'm not. Look, listen. <laughs> 
we can speculate about these things, right? Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah, I just yeah. like, but we gotta say that it, you know, we gotta uh, s- let me, let me say that it like this: if there, if there was a society that like over, <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> if there was a society that 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 took over like a large part of the world and just like human rights were just uh, pushed aside for like pure efficiency and like and like progress in the coldest sense, it is interesting to think about. You're looking at the time, like you don't like this at all. No, I'm just looking at the time because we're we're coming up. We're coming time. up. Well, this will be yeah. a good thought to end on. All right. It's just interesting. It's like, yeah, would we be fucking like? Would there be uh, brains and cyborgs? <laughs> I guess I, I bet don't there know. would be. You think that there? Were? I don't know. Like, because mm-hmm. how much of like? I just imagine a concentration camp, and it's all ju- just a bunch of brains in jars. <laughs> yeah, that's what they'd be doing to us. Mm-hmm. Just a big bunk, <laughs> just a big barracks, and there's a fucking jar and a brain in each cot. Ah, oh, fuck. I guess I ended this kind of spicy, huh? Yeah, this is very spicy. And my last riff didn't land. No, I think I'm I'm in my head worrying if I uh, got a little too spicy. I guess it doesn't matter. You I'm know not even I'm worrying about, about this part of it. I'm worried about it earlier. Oh, what was bad? Uh, just the, the, the riff that I repeated from the comedy store. Oh, I don't think that's bad. No? All right. No, you're good. All right, we'll leave it in. All right. You want to call it? Go eat Korean barbecue? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go get KK, KBBQ. All right. I almost called it. Make a baby leader on in peace. Only time I give a fuck is for my own release. That's why I own these streets. Straight up portfolio showing growth. Fuck a pay cut. Yeah, you know I stay slut. Catch me in the spot. Lubing up for the self suck. Oh, fuck. I busted already. I'm coming bucket so heavy. My dream of cream coming steady. Now my mouth open. I'm ready. I'm talking solo heavy petting on a Friday night. That talking bashing the Bishop, more like Nantucket's delight. I'm taking all the time I need to do it just right.